that it brings up the question. So, you know, we talked about a little about this. How far are we from really mainstream consumer use? And I guess the answer is we're, we're there because the devices are there. But the market penetration is still going to be fairly small, is it not? Very, very small. And in fact, they're sold out. All three, he- all three of those high-end headsets have sold out. So if you bought one today, you're going to have to wait months before they start showing up uh, wow. in your house. Okay. Um, yeah, it's going to be a while before you have, you know, broad penetration into, you know, everybody's house, uh, probably uh, two to 10 years, you know, I, and that's a hard one for me to read. It depends how you define broad penetration, you know, uh, right. it, it, is it broad penetration in San Francisco? <laughs> that's going to be different <laughs> than broad penetration into, uh, you know, s- South Africa, where I just was, for instance, right? Cool. Yeah, although, yeah. What, what were you doing in South Africa? Just curious. Uh, speaking at a bunch of conferences and okay. startup entrepreneurs and playing VR, actually. There was uh, one company down there that's building activations, and it had three of the HTC Vives. So. Okay. Um, and it, it, there again, I've got to watch people get the first experience on these things. Most people haven't had uh, their face in one of these high-end headsets yet. And uh, Right. Even by the end of the year, I, you know, the numbers of people who ha- who will have tried it, not own it, tried it, are, are probably going to be fairly, fairly small in the millions, right? In the low millions. If, if it gets to the, the, the million number, I'd be curious. Yeah. No, it, it'll get to millions, uh, but but low millions, you know, five million. T- uh, right. Like right. Because it takes fifteen minutes to get a demo, and if you if you went to the GDC conference last week or. Um, CES in January, you had to wait in line two hours to get a demo, right? Yeah, right. That's just a demo. That's not buying it. That's just a demo. <laughs> I, I see those gonna, lines for demos. Yeah. You're not going to buy it if you don't get a demo, you know, because uh, you're not going to believe in it. Uh, uh, you know, so that's a, a real problem for this industry. It, it takes a long time to get a demo. It takes 15 minutes minimum and maybe even more. Right. Well, I mean, when it's set up at, the, at your local Best Buy, you know, and you can and you can stand in line there. I mean, that's good. That's going to change things. That that helps, but it still takes 15 minutes. So that means four people can get a, a demo an hour. Right. Right. So if you have four people. That means in line. That means you're waiting an hour. <laughs> What, what about the world of uh, augmented reality, where we see reality as it is, but it, it, there's additional information on the screen? It seems like that's going to be more of a business use case than yeah, VR. Yeah, that's going to be even bigger than VR, but it's it's further out. It's three to five years before it really starts hitting for consumers. You're absolutely right that's bigger for business. Man, I don't know that it's bigger. I mean, uh, uh, the new Disney park and Ford uh, Ford cars are designed on VR today. Uh, augmented reality um, puts virtual items on top of the wor- real world. So if you are uh, working at Caterpillar, for instance, you put on uh, either the Meta or the ODG glasses, and it puts virtual items on top of the tractor and shows you how to fix the tractor, the million-dollar cool. tractors that they sell. Right. Yeah, that- so that, that's coming. But for consumer use, that's uh, at least three years away and probably longer.